Hey guys, what's up? So coming at you again here from the beautiful city of uh, Tianjin, uh, which is about half an hour by train from Beijing. You can see here it's a uh, very interesting uh, architecture right here. Tianjin used to have one of the biggest um, European concessions or colonial areas back in the old days. Uh, so you have a lot of these like uh, European style buildings, uh, uh, small alleys with, uh, with trees and um, some very beautiful like European style mansions, especially where I am right now. And in a way Tianjin I think is one of the most underrated cities in China because it is very beautiful, but it's not as famous as uh, uh, the Qingdao or Xiamen for example as a tourist destination, even though they're similar size. But yeah, if you have a chance to come to China, I really recommend you visit uh, Tianjin and, and walk around here in these uh, beautiful uh, neighborhoods. So the topic for today is COVID zero and will it continue uh, in China? My guess is uh, yes and no. Uh, yes, because the government still has the interest to keep uh, COVID at the low level. It's still their official policy, but I don't think we'll see similar lockdowns as we had in Shanghai with like a really hard lockdown where people can't leave their buildings, um, especially in big cities. And the reason is that there are two reasons. One reason is that the Shanghai situation with the, the, the spread of COVID was allowed to go on too far by the local Shanghai government. They, they tested the central government and they simply assumed that Shanghai would not lock down. They simply assumed it was okay to have quite a big uh, uh, spread of COVID and that they could handle it uh, on, on their own. But of course, then things got out of hand. The amount of daily cases became way too high and the central government stepped in and forced them to do a hard lockdown. Basically, Shanghai, Shanghai government lost control. If this ever happens again in any city where you see, you see a sizable spread, I believe they will have a lockdown, but it will be a lockdown more similar to what we have today, for example, in Tianjin or what we had in Beijing for the past uh, couple of months, where basically you close down subways, you close down shopping malls, restaurants, but people are still allowed to go outside. They're allowed to, to, to order like delivery, for example. They're allowed to uh, walk in the park. So that way you have a lockdown, but it's not as severe as what you had in Shanghai. So that's one reason. And the other reason is that the economic damage from the lockdown has been absolutely immense, uh, especially in Shanghai. And I mean, even the government, even though the government in China is uh, wealthy, they don't have unlimited amounts of money. And the, the price for that lockdown will be take a long time to pay to pay back. And you have this dual balance within the Chinese government, uh, which you have had since the beginning of the, the Communist Party here, which is between two different factions. One, one faction promotes uh, economic uh, growth and economic stability, and the other one promotes uh, social cohesion and, and social welfare for the people. You could say that zero COVID is an example of the latter policy, which is basically not good for the economy, but good for the social cohesion, the health, and for the, the power of the party overall. And China has been on that path of social cohesion now since the, the new president, who we won't name right now as I'm currently in China. <laughs> um, but what has happened uh, in the past few months, especially with the, the lockdown in Shanghai, is that that policy has in a way run its course. Um, everybody went all in for that policy in Shanghai. Um, it seems to have been working uh, since the number of cases has now down to a very low level, but it's come at a very, very huge price. And if they have to do a similar thing again in a big town like Shanghai, I don't think they can uh, simply afford to do it. 
because now you see signs in the media, uh, even though it's quite subtle, you see signs that the, uh, the other faction, the one that promotes uh, economic growth and stability, is starting to make their voices heard uh, again, uh, saying that we have to be a bit more uh, uh, pragmatic going ahead. So I think what, what we'll see ahead is more of a flexible zero COVID policy that uh, will have strict measurements, but not nearly as strict as what we had right now in Shanghai. So those are my five cents. If you have any comments or thoughts on your own, please feel free to share. Thank you. Take care, guys.